Fortnite to me and many others doesn't seem the same anymore. Let's explore why that could be, or just maybe you're thinking about it in the wrong light. Fortnite Battle Royale back in Chapter 1 was all shiny and new, and had consistent updates with fun and wacky weapons and items, as well as memorable live events. Then we got to Season X or Season 10 of Chapter 1, which was the end of Chapter 1, which quickly brought us to Chapter 2, which gave us a brand new island, new mechanics, and just as many amazing seasons and updates. A lot of what made Season 2, however, was the worldwide pandemic at the time, which saw a lot of new players, as well as old ones, returning to Fortnite. There was a great consistent storyline again, with Shadow vs Ghosts, and this all related to our boy, Midas. And just like Chapter 1, all great things have to come to an end, which we've seen with Season 8 having its very own end event. And this time, however, the island flipped, revealing another island underneath. We're all like, what? Then we got Chapter 3 Season 1, which started out very strong. We got Spider-Man in the Battle Pass, as well as the web shooters, which made a very fun and amazing season. Season 2 was just as good. We got a progressive war between the Imagined Order and the Seven, which was similar to the Shadow vs Ghost sort of thing. With that, we got plenty of updates and map changes. Then all of a sudden, Epic seemed to hit the brakes. This is when Season 3 Vibing came out. Some people liked it. After this point, everything seemed to slow down, and there was less and less actual map updates, or things like summer updates. It all seemed a little stale. And this ultimately led up to one of the worst Fortnite live events, which was the Fracture live event. Just how did Fortnite get to being like this? Well, before that, we were seeing more and more collabs with Fortnite from DC, Marvel, sports stars, all the way to fashion and, uh, shoes? And yes, collabs bring an enormous amount of revenue for Epic Games, which we all must understand, they are a business, and the base game is free. Uh, Nick, what's the game called? It's called uh, Fortnite. It's free. What leaves a sour taste in some players' mouths is collab skins in the Battle Pass. <coughs> it seems a bit off at times to hijack a season, instead of having epic original skins just for one collab. Just like right now with Chapter 5 Season 2, which is all about Greek gods. Yet the related mythic items got vaulted just for an Avatar collab. And I'm not dissing Avatar, but surely epic, we could have had both sets of mythics. Not only is this happening, we also got UI changes which nobody likes, the scrapping of rarities in the item shop, which is a bold move, but I get that maybe Epic doesn't want people fighting over what is rare or not. With all that being said, the newer Battle Passes with collab skins runs entirely on FOMO, which is fear of missing out. It's like, oh, you didn't play that season? You don't have the Aquaman skin? And now all your friends are ripping on you. Bruh. I get that Epic needs collabs, but not at the cost of the original skins they used to do, which are less and less these days. Fortnite, as you know, is always evolving with the likes of Festival, Rocket Racing, and LEGO Editions. OG players might not like these changes, but the game does not cater just for you. All players started out at different times, and, and as a community we must all understand nobody has superiority over anybody. Fortnite still gets regular updates as you know, Epic are always trying to be innovative in what they do, but I feel they're trying to compete with themselves, and getting a little lost on the way. Storyline in BR has suffered a lot over the last three chapters, which begs the question, is Battle Royale as a concept tired and just not fun or engaging anymore? With the mighty UEFN, could a campaign story be better suited to Fortnite? And I know what you're going to say, we have saved the world, but that too is a tired concept in my opinion. Either way, Epic said themselves they will be doing everything in UEFN in 2025 anyway, so who knows what that will bring. Hopefully some of this has made sense and made some things clearer. 
leave your thoughts below, and I hope you all have a great day.